Hello everybody. Guess what? Nigeria becomes 60 years tomorrow. And we are dedicating our emerge service tonight just for that, to pray for our dear nation. Uh, I want to thank you for joining uh, this broadcast tonight. Uh, I'd like you to share the uh, broadcast, the video on your social media platforms. Uh, if you've not done that, you can do that right now. Let your friends know about this. Let's gather family and friends to pray together. And like I always say, let somebody encounter the grace and the power of God on your social media platform. Praise God. It's good to have each and every one of you. Uh, thank you for giving us the privilege to come into your homes through your uh, mobile devices and your laptops and some of you, your televisions, your smart TVs. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another time in your presence. We honor and exalt your name. We thank you for all we are going to do in this meeting. Lord, we ask that your breath will be upon them in the name of Jesus. We draw on the anointing of the Holy Spirit that tonight's meeting will leave an eternal impact in the lives of every person who is a part of this and even in our nation, Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that the God who hears prayers will hear us tonight and answer us. The Bible says to the God who hears prayers, to you shall all flesh come. And so we come to you tonight uh, with, with faith in our hearts. And we trust for miracles to happen. Father, lift a burden, touch a heart, break some yoke over somebody's life, give somebody a second chance, restore hope to somebody in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I began to say that Nigeria turns 60 tomorrow, and uh, you and I are privileged to be alive, to be a part of that. I want to thank God uh, for Nigeria for 60 years since 1960. It's now 2020. Nigeria is 20 years. Although we have achieved quite some as a country, uh, but we still fall behind on many fronts. Uh, there are several things that aren't working uh, as, uh, for us as a nation, and we really desire that Nigeria will do better. The hopes and aspirations of our people have been dashed over and over and over. And as you look at the future of Nigeria, except for the grace of God, the future looks quite uncertain. Uh, the current trends in all the spheres of our, of our country, uh, they look worrisome in the political uh, sphere, in the social sphere, the social stratum of our country. Things just look really worrisome. Almost on every uh, front you look uh, as a nation, things look worrisome. However, Nigeria is a land uh, with great potential. Nigeria has great potential, uh, both in human uh, and natural resources. It's been said that a nation, nations do not become great by the virtue of their wealth, or but, but by the wealth of their virtues. Nations don't become great by virtue of their wealth, but by the wealth of their virtues, the virtues that the people espouse. And I know that uh, Nigerians, uh, Nigeria has the best of brains. Nigerians uh, are doing amazing things around the world. Uh, it's as if, uh, and you know what? Foreign countries recognize that. So they poach our people. Uh, every now and then they come up with programs that take the best of our people into their different countries. And uh, these people begin to excel when they get there. And you know, I really desire that Nigeria will understand the potential her people has and begin to create uh, the right environment, the conducive environment, a system that can make each Nigerian to blossom right here. Nigerians are engineers, space engineers at NASA in America, some of the best surgeons, uh, brain surgeons, heart surgeons. Uh, they are you know, doing, uh, uh, they, are, they are creating new vistas, breaking new grounds in, in technology. I heard somebody say that in Silicon Valley, uh, some of the uh, best brains there are from our Covenant University in Nigeria. Some of those young guys who did their BSc in Covenant are getting to Silicon Valley and many of them are emerging stars there. So Nigerians have great potential and tonight we just want to take time to lift our nation uh, before God. We want to lift our nation before God because our people excel out there. We want to pray that the land will become uh, truly a land flowing with milk and honey, not a land that devours its inhabitants. Uh, we're going to pray, uh, but I'll read some scriptures for, well, some verses of scripture from Isaiah uh, chapter 62. You can open your Bibles there, Isaiah 62, and it's a bit of a lengthy reading, uh, verse 1 all the way to 9. Isaiah 62, 1 to 9. Fantastic. Verse 1. For Zion's sake or for Nigeria's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Nigeria's sake, 
I will not rest. Somebody say, I will not hold my peace and I will not rest. Fantastic. I will not rest until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a lamp that burns. The Gentiles shall see Nigeria's righteousness and all kings shall see her glory. Nigeria shall be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord will name. I look forward to that day that the name of Nigeria will not be associated with fraud and corruption, to be associated with virtues, associated with righteousness, with goodness, with innovation, that God will give Nigeria a new name. Verse 3, Nigeria shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of our God. Nigeria, you shall no longer be termed forsaken, nor shall your land anymore be termed desolate be termed desolate. Uh, it, it amazes you that Nigerians are going everywhere, our best brains, like I said, and even sometimes, some of them are in Lebanon, they just repatriated some uh, from Lebanon, they are in Mali, uh, uh, and I'm wondering what's Niger- what are Nigerians going to do in Mali? Uh, people are going everywhere. Some of them have been abused in, uh, I think it's Qatar, I also saw that on YouTube. Uh, Nigerians are just everywhere, leaving the country and just trying to look for something better. Some of them have died at sea, just trying to escape uh, the country. But God says that the Nigeria shall no longer be termed forsaken, nor shall your land anymore be termed desolate, but you shall be called Hefzibah. Hefzibah means God's delight is in her. God's delight is in her. Uh, he said, and your, and your land, Beulah, for the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God, Nigeria, rejoice over you. I I listen to this part, and this is why we are praying tonight. Verse 6, it said, I have set watchmen on your walls, O Nigeria. I have set watchmen, watchmen on your walls, O Nigeria. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You will make mention of the Lord. Do not keep silent. And that's why we keep praying. He said, and give him no rest until he establishes and until he makes Nigeria a praise in the earth. Why do we pray? Because God promises that if we don't keep silent, if we keep praying, one day he will establish the land. He will make our our today be a past that we remember with pain because he will bring us into a new place, a new place that will say, God, look at how far you have brought us. So he said he will establish and then he will make her a praise in the earth. Verse 8, the Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no longer give your grain as food for your enemies. And the sons of the foreigners shall not drink your new wine for which you have labored. You also see sometimes you're at the airport and you see some foreigners trooping into this country and they are getting the best of construction projects. Some, some things that we could have done uh, because we have lost even integrity amongst ourselves. But God says that will change. Verse 9, but those who have gathered it shall eat it. We shall labor in this country, we shall eat, our GDP shall increase and we shall praise the Lord. Those who have brought it together shall drink it in my holy courts. In my holy courts. So based on this scripture and several others as we begin to pray, I will lift up our nation before God. There's just a place of prayer. Somebody say, well, we've been praying and we've been praying. I'm telling you, maybe things will have been worse if we have not been praying. In fact, not maybe, things would have been worse if we were not praying. So I know that there is a God in heaven who hears our prayers. The Bible says in Acts chapter 17 verse 26 that he has predetermined the appointed boundaries of all men and of all nations even before we ever came. God, God, Nigeria was an idea of God, not by Lord Lugard. It was an idea in the heart of God. And the God who instituted, who established our nation will empower our nation, will prosper our nation and make her a praise on the earth. In Jesus' name. Join me as I just say a word of prayer and then we'll commence our prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, once again, we want to thank you for 60 years of our land, of our nation. We want to thank you for uh, just all that ha- we have been through as a nation. Some of them we look back and we laugh and we are thankful for uh, just the good things you've done, the years of the oil boom, the uh, the operation feed the nation i remember that growing up uh, the uh, just uh, investment into agriculture uh, thank you because uh, even education more schools now than when i was growing up just there are different things we have keyed into the telecommunications uh, age and in, uh, and uh, it uh, information technology uh, we may still be behind but we see some of these things as milestones that you have given us as a nation and we thank you but god in recent uh, past uh, insecurity has dotted the landscape of our land people have been kidnapped people have 
have been abducted, people have been killed. Uh, there has been terrorism. Bombs have detonated in the wrongest of places. Uh, people are in exile in foreign, uh, in neighboring countries. Uh, people have been hurt. Many of them are, are in IDP. Uh, a lot of children out of school. God, Nigeria needs you. We are desperate for you, O oh God. We are desperate for you. We need your intervention. In the name of Jesus, we desire that this 60th year will be a turning point, that you will smile upon us, that you will remember us, O God, for good. In the name of Jesus, and like our national anthem says, that the labors of our heroes past shall not be in vain. Have your way, Heavenly Father, as we pray, and remember Nigeria for good. We give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so we continue to pray now. Join Miss B as she leads us in prayers. Thank you for joining us to pray for Nigeria. As we reflect on the 60th um, independence celebration of Nigeria, we're also reflecting on how truly free we are as a nation. Insecurity has threatened our freedom people literally live in fear. Kidnappings, terror of Boko Haram and banditry for over a decade. It has terrorized our nation. Headers and farmers clash. Tens of thousands of lives have been lost. Millions have been displaced from their homes and we are supposed to be free. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 18, the Bible says, God speaking about his people, he said, then my people will live in a peaceful surrounding and in secure dwellings and in undisturbed resting place. So this is a distortion from the plans and purpose of God. And as a church, it is our obligation to pray for this nation. That is why we're going to pray for all that is happening from Abuja to Southern Kaduna to Benue to Plateau. People's lives have been wasted. People have been killed. We have shed innocent blood. People are living in food insecurity. We are faced with food crisis because farmers can no longer go to the farm to farm because they are afraid that they will be killed by violent headers. It is our responsibility, my responsibility, your responsibility to intervene for this nation in prayer. The Bible says, if the people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, then I will hear from heaven and I will answer and I will heal their land. And I believe the best place and the first place to begin from is for mercy because when we shed innocent blood on our land, the impact could last for generations to come because it is a curse on our land and that's why I want us to begin by asking God for mercy over Nigeria for the for the meaningless killings for wickedness perpetrated in the, oh, in several lives let's begin to intercede that God will have mercy over this nation in the name of Jesus Christ father we ask that you have mercy have mercy on our land have mercy on us for every innocent blood shed for every children that we have rendered fatherless for everybody we have rendered homeless by the killings oh God father we ask for mercy we ask for mercy every violent bloodshed oh God crying out for judgment crying out for vengeance father we ask for mercy over Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ have mercy on us have mercy on us oh God in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name we are praying Psalm 101 verse 8 says, Early I will destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all the evildoers from the city of the Lord. Now, there are people who are benefiting from this um, violence, from terrorism, all that is going wrong in the country. There are people who are sponsoring this. There are people who gain from this. And that's why we are going to pray against them, just like God had, the Bible has said, that God would destroy the wicked in our land. Let God remove every wicked 
wicked man, every wicked woman, every sponsor of wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ. Invoke the judgment of the Lord against them in the name of Jesus Christ. We invoke the judgment of the Lord on every sponsor of terrorism, every sponsor of terrorism in Nigeria, anybody that benefits from the activities of Boko Haram, from the acti activities of armed banditry, from the activities of kidnappers, from the activities of headers. Father, we curse them by the blood of Jesus Christ. We ask that the judgment of the Lord will be quick and be sweet upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, according to your word, may they be cut off every evildoer. May they be cut off from our land, from our city, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone sitting in government, everyone sitting at the, the hem of decision making that is perpetrating, that is that is trying to con their way and, and propagate evil over this nation. Father, we decree that they be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree that they be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Every system that is aiding and abating terrorism in our country, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree a detronment in the name of Jesus Christ. We detron wickedness. We detron evil in the name of Jesus Christ. We take victory over Boko Haram. We take victory over any form of terrorism and violence and wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ. We take, we take victory over armed robberies in the name of Jesus Christ that people can no longer travel safely on our highways. Uh, we take victory over this evil that has taken over our land. In the name of Jesus Christ, we take our land back. We take our land back. We take our land back. In the name of Jesus Christ. We call and we decree for a remover of every evil doer in our land, in our our nation in the name of Jesus Christ in Southern Kaduna in Plateau in Benue in Kogi all over the the, the states of this federation will remove evil doers in the name of Jesus we say no longer will they prosper in the name of Jesus Christ Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 for I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds says the Lord God we are going to pray for God to restore health and to heal our wounds. A lot has happened and this nation needs healing. Our land needs healing. People that are living in the IDP camp, people that have lost their loved ones, people are crying out to find closure. So we are going to be praying that God will heal us in the name of Jesus Christ. People who relieve the horrors of terrorism daily, let us pray that God will bring healing, that God will bring comfort, that God will bring comfort in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal our our wounds, oh God. Heal our wounds, oh God, for people that has been touched uh, by terrorism, by wickedness in every part of this nation. Father, we call for healing in the name of Jesus Christ. We call that you will heal us. You will heal us in the name of Jesus. Heal our internal wound in the name of Jesus for people who cannot even get the picture out of their head. For people who relive every day of their life how they have, how they run from their home, how they have lost everything, how they have lost people. They are loved ones. Father, we ask for healing in the name of Jesus Christ. For the unnecessary killing in Kaduna, Father, we ask that you will heal the people of Southern Kaduna in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who has, who has been touched by the insensitive wickedness in this nation, we ask, oh God, that you will heal us, that you will heal in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mareko zila hande broshita leda, embo zite leke brida ro santali mahando zete liya, mazute leke brisa toli ya hande ke sila brosa, en zalega zibra do shata. Give your people closure, oh God. Give your people closure for people that 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 that, that think that the government has failed them, and yes, it is true for people that think that the nation has failed them and yes it is true father heal in the name of Jesus let your peace oh God take over every pain every bitterness every pain every bitterness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name we are praying we are going to be praying for wisdom for the people in decision making as it regards to security in our nation we are going to pray for the service ships for the for the military that god himself will give them uncommon wisdom uncommon strategy over boko haram 
over kidnapping, over everything that threatens the security of this nation. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask for wisdom. We ask for wisdom for those in authority. We ask for wisdom for the military, for the service chiefs, so God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will give them a strategy from heaven that would conquer Boko Haram, that will conquer terrorism, that will conquer kidnapping, that will conquer every evil and every sponsor of evil in this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare that the wisdom that comes from our vote, the one that is undiluted, the one that comes from your heart, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will give to those in, in power, those that make the decision in the name of Jesus Christ, that they will know what to do. They will know what strategy to engage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if there is anyone that sabotage the efforts of the service chiefs, the efforts of the military, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree that they be removed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise, mighty God. Thank you for healing our land. And we are praying, oh God, for the military, the soldier, the men and the women who have sacrificed their life to protect this nation that are in the war front, the war zone oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ we ask for your protection in the name of Jesus Christ, Father protect them, preserve them in the name of Jesus Christ, as they go through the valleys of the shadows of death we ask that you will protect them, you will preserve them, in the name of Jesus we ask for strength for their family members in the name of Jesus Christ, children and women that are growing without their, their husband and their fathers, be because they are somewhere trying to protect this nation. Father, we ask, oh God, that you will strengthen them in the name of Jesus Christ and protect everyone out there that is fighting for the security of this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree peace, oh God, over this nation. We decree peace from the north to the west, from the south to the east. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray peace be still. Let the peace of God envelop this nation. Let the peace of God envelop this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say no to terrorism. We say no to bloodshed. We say enough is enough. This far that you have come, no further shall you go in the name of Jesus Christ. Nigeria is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And we decree that we will live in peaceable habitation in the name of Jesus. We will dwell in secure places in the name of Jesus. No longer we will live in fear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all adoration. Because this 60th year is a turning point. Is a turning point. All things are working together in the security sector of this nation. For the good of this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise, mighty God. We begin to see as we have declared tonight in the name of Jesus. Be glorified, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for praying for Nigeria. God has heard us and we receive answers. We begin to experience undistorted peace and security in this nation. In Jesus' name, thank you and God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for praying. We're going to continue in this session. We're going to be praying for the economy of Nigeria. Hallelujah. You know, every time the economy of a nation is poor. It is greatly affected. It greatly affects the people and is as a result of poor economy. And because of that, it leads to so many vices. You hear of insecurity, kidnapping, and the likes. It's all as a result of poor economy. Hallelujah. And this is the reason why we have to pray. I'm going to start from Lamentations Chapter 3, verse 22. Hallelujah. And it reads, it says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassion fail it not. Hallelujah. We are going to pray this way. Father, in the name of Jesus, let's begin to thank him for mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy that Nigeria is not consumed in this, in, in this period. Hallelujah. Let's begin to pray. Father, we thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your loving kindness that is upholding us as a nation since independence in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray for wisdom, wisdom from above, wisdom from above for our leadership, the leadership of this nation. People that will move to the restoration of this nation in the name of Jesus. Pray for the deliverance of Nigeria. Father, deliver us from all forms of illegality. All forms of illegality in the name of Jesus. Restore our dignity as a nation, O God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible is speaking in Psalm 46 and verse 10. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. Be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. Let's begin to decree speedy judgment against every force resisting the economic growth and development of this nation. Every force resisting the growth of the economy of this nation. Father, we resist. We resist every force. We resist every force. Every man, every woman resisting. Antagonizing. The growth of this economy. Begin to pray for turnaround. A turnaround in our economy. A turnaround in our nation. Rabo Sakatabaya begin to pray for a supernatural turnaround, a supernatural turnaround in our financial institutions. Makabaya in every sector of the, in this economy, in the name of Jesus, in the agricultural sector, in the service sector, in the energy sector, in the transportation sectors. We pray for a turnaround in the tourism sectors. Ribo Satalabo in Kalabosha. Father, instill the right people, the right people in the name of Jesus Christ. Libo Satalabo. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, the Bible is speaking in Revelation 3 and verse 8. It says, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one, no one can shut it. Hallelujah. No one can shut it. The door to progress, the door to progress in Nigeria. He said, For you have a little strength, have kept my word. And I have not denied my name. Hallelujah. Jehovah will not deny his name for Nigeria's sake. Makabalagada. We are going to pray and begin to declare reopening of closed doors for Nigeria's economy. In the name of Jesus, every closed door shall be reopened. Every closed business shall be reopened. In the name of Jesus. Makalabosa. For foreign expatriates. For Mahidabo Sakaba. Mimandelabo. They will come. Nigeria will be an attraction. Nigeria will be a place place again for people to come and invest in the name of Jesus. Every close opportunity, every closed door, it's open in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11. He says, because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore, Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Hallelujah. There are men and women that are just there. They are, they've made up their mind. They want to do evil. They want to see that this economy does not grow. <laughs> we are going to pray against such people. Hallelujah. We are going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
makalabo sekete rikatalabon de lebosa rikete kete kede ransom this nation from every power that want to destroy her destiny in the name of Jesus father ransom this nation mahalekete from every power that want to destroy her destiny in the name of Jesus lita lebosa hande rikasande lebosha irebo sateyande makabarada ikarembo sonto lebrede rakaba yakaba zike peredele ribo sante lebo save our land oh god save our land oh god mashande lebosa rikete kete send your rescue angels oh god rabo sante lebo to deliver nigeria from every force of destruction abahale kete anything i reign against us mashente lebo father send your angels to destroy them in the name of jesus makabalaba father save nigeria from every gang of every gang of of hell aimed at destroying this nation save us oh god librado sekete in kalando shebreniande ribo sekete terebosa father set this nation free free of every trap of destruction ah lebo sekete every trap of destruction makabalara in gredegebo save us from every insurgency save us oh god save our economy ribo sandelebo e kalabali kata jakabaya kabayande in kalebo sekete in jesus Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah genesis 31:44 it says and pharaoh said to his servants can we find such a one as this a man in whom is the spirit of god that is the kind of man we need that is the kind of person we need a man with a spirit of god to be at the helm of affairs hallelujah to be at the helm of affairs we are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, position men and women endowed with wisdom of God in the right place of authority. Hallelujah. Men and women endowed with the wisdom of God. Place them in the right place, in the right position of authority in our nation. In the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a turn around. Turn around in our leadership. In the name of Jesus. Put the right people in place. The right people in place. People who fear you. People who are righteous. Because righteousness exalts a nation. He said, but sin is a reproach. Father, the right people that will take us to the promised land in the name of Jesus. Nigeria at 60. Father, a new thing. Do a new thing. Do a new thing in our lives. In Isaiah 43:19, he says, Behold, I will do a new thing. He said, Now it shall spring forth. Let's begin to pray. Father, let it spring forth. Let growth in our economy begin to spring forth. Let businesses, let employment begin to to spring forth in the name of Jesus. Masheke berede, mahandele bo sekete yande, ribo sakata labosha, makaba yagada, ikalabosa. We terminate every age-long political turmoil. Rikato sebende, inka rabosha, li preneskete, ingrada ba handa labosa, li kebere de 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 de, ribo sokobo sakabaya. Father, we thank you. Mashanta labose, inka do seketa, makaba yagada. Father, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us. Mashekete, Mandelebo from sinful men. Deliver us, O God. Makalabo Sekete. Build our nation. Build our economy. Once again, O God. Mashakaba Lakada. Leke Berekete. Father, set this nation. Set this nation from the scourge of employment. Save this nation, O God, from the scourge of unemployment. In the name of Jesus. Our youths once again will find a place to work. Mashekete Lebrede. In Karado Satabayande. Librene Seterebo. Poverty will no longer be our portion in this country, Lord. Father, cause us to have something to do. That we will never lack. We will never lack in the name of Jesus. Father, save us. Save our nation, O oh God, from every insurgency, from every insurgency. 
insurgency, Mashekete, the spirit of kidnapping. We bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit. In Barato Sekebelekete, in Gradalabo, every evil spirit. Mishen Telebosa, in Karado Sakabayande. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord, because we know you will do a new thing. A new thing in our nation, oh God. As we turn 60, you will do a new thing in this nation. There will be a turnaround. There will be transformation in amongst our leaders, oh God. Father, we thank you because our naira will begin to add value in the name of Jesus. Our naira will begin to gain value in the name of Jesus. Mashete lebo sakaba in grada sekete. We will be listed among the top nations. Ahalebo sekete in this world in the name of Jesus. We will not just be a consuming economy, but a, a, a producing economy in the name of Jesus. Our GDP will rise in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the right mindset, the right ideas. In Pridose, put place the right people in the right places in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you do a new thing. We thank you, Lord, because you do a new thing. It is a new dawn for Nigeria. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because you are taking us to greater heights. To greater height. Thank you, mighty King of glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for praying. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We give you praise, Lord. Glory, honor, majesty be to your name. Father, I worship you. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you for praying. Thank you for praying. Finally, we're praying for the leadership of our nation. We're praying for our leadership. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. You know, uh, Bill Hybels um, once said, he said, everybody wins when a leader gets better. Everybody, it's, it, it's our win. It's win-win for everybody when a leader um, gets better. And in, on the 1st of October in 1949, um, China gained independence from Britain. And afterwards, the years that followed after their independence were years of suffering, of hunger. They went through famine. It was a terrible um, period for China. And they suffered a lot until God raised one man who started to set the nation on the on the pathway to transformation once again and it was not just for China it, there was a time also that Jerusalem was in ruins it was lying in desolation because their city was raided and their gates were burned down according to the scripture and God raised one man also Nehemiah who started that nation um, onto, a, onto a pathway for national transformation and today we are reading in the book of Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 17 we'll see how that transformation started um, for the nation of Israel. The Bible say, then I said to them, you see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lies in waste and its gates are burned with fire. Come, let us build the wall of Jerusalem that we may no longer be a reproach. That is one man standing up and casting a vision and calling the people to build the nation. We are going to place spiritual orders right now for the next decade of our nation. As we stand at the, uh, at the threshold of 60 and moving into the next decade, we are going to place spiritual orders for good leadership in our nation. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, begin to place that order right now. Spiritual orders who are demanding for leadership, good leadership in our nation, in the name of Jesus. Mantali prakusa kula brokolika, mandale prakosa nika lika shetele keteke, imando si manuja kale prekosia. The Spirit helps us to pray um, this evening. And tu kali katosa, mandale prekosia. We are placing spiritual orders um, this day in the name of Jesus. As we stand on the bricks of 60 and moving into um, the 61, the 62. We are placing others. The next decade, our leadership shall get it right. In the name of Jesus, if God can do it for Jerusalem, he can raise a man for Nigeria.
Nigeria. He can raise a woman for Nigeria. He can raise leadership for Nigeria. We begin to place demand. The next 10 years is going to be better. We will have great leaders in the name of Jesus. People passionate about the people. People passionate about the sufferings of the people. People passionate about nation building. In the name of Jesus, we make demands for leaders. A spiritual demands for leaders in the next phase of our growth. In the name of Jesus, if the Lord did it for Jerusalem, he will do it for Nigeria. If he did it for China, he will do it for us. And today we are borrowing from China. But the day will come when the nations will come to us. In the name of Jesus, God will raise leaders in Nigeria once again. In the name of Jesus. And the Nehemiah said to them when he called them together, he said, look at the distress um, that we are in. Look at the, the problem that we are inside. And this, that, that is where Nigeria is now. Distress. Distress. Great distress. And we are going to pray now and say, God, give us a leader that will take us to, from these rubbles to build edifice in this nation. In the name of Jesus. From the rubbles where we are right now. And from the desolation where we are right now. Give us a man after your heart, Lord. Give us a leader Give us good leadership, Lord. Men of vision, women of vision. In the name of Jesus, Kali prakosa nego shutali and go shatali kere turu rapuza kati ah mantani manando siya. A man, a woman that will unite the nation with a vision. A koli prakosa ya that will raise their voice and men will follow. In the name of Jesus, we pray for people of influence in our leadership and people of godly character in our leadership. People who are conversant with the sufferings of the people and people who will, uh, will push money towards transformation, towards education. Visionary leadership in the name of Jesus. We ask for it. The next 10 years uh, we shall have leaders. We shall have good leaders. In Kale Prakosia, Mandolia Prakusa at 60 we place a demand for good leadership in our nation. In the name of Jesus. Mantali Prakosa Kuja Tale Kesotolia and as we pray for leadership. We also pray for the generation to come. Mantale Prakusa. As we stand at, uh, at this point in our history, we, 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 are, we, we know that young people are just everywhere. It, it seems like we have lost direction. It seems like we don't even care less. We care less about where the country is going to. Right now we're going to pray and say, God, raise a generation that will take over in the name of Jesus. I want to read in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 28. And the Bible say, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions, visions. Let's begin to pray for our young people. Let's call them into a place of vision, a place of direction. In the name of Jesus, we call them forth from the place of drugs, from the place of vice. In the name of Jesus, right now begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Call out every young man you know from the place of vice. We call them from the place of uh, destructive habits in the name of Jesus. From the place of wasting of precious times. We call them forth in the name of Jesus. We call them to a place of personal development. We call them to a place of leadership in the name of Jesus. We decree that our young men will not be wasted. There shall be visionaries. The Bible said uh, that when the Lord pour his spirit once again that the young men and women Men will be visionaries. They will bet visions. They will run with it. And that is what we pray for our young people in the name of Jesus. Visionaries. Mantale precocia. That they will be transformed by the renewal of their mind. In the name of Jesus, we pray for a mental renewal, a mental transformation for youths all, our, all across our, our country. In the name of Jesus, from the north and to the south, from the east to the west. Mantale precocia. We begin to pray for a renewal of the mind. A renewal of the mind. In the name of Jesus we pray for a generation of right thinking people. In the name of Jesus we pray for a, a, a generation of visionaries. In the name of Jesus. A generation that will start the banking systems that are to come. A generation that will start uh, the IT firms of the next generation. Mantale precocia. A people that will be uh, 
directed and led by vision in the name of Jesus. We refuse wastage of years, wastage of life among our youths in this country in the name of Jesus. We call them forth from where they are right now and to the place of leadership, to the place of vision in the name of Jesus. We refuse today that our young people wallow in poverty, that they wallow in lack of direction. We refuse today and we stand against it in the name of Jesus. And right now, wherever you are, we're going to raise our voices. Wherever you are, make sure you are speaking. We are going to speak over our nation. Mantale prakuza katali kashita enkoli prakosa naya. We speak against the voices that are speaking negativity over Nigeria. We speak against them in the name of Jesus. We begin to raise a force against the forces of negativity in the air. The words that has been spoken and young people saying Nigeria is a fool at 60 we begin to uh, revert those words in the name of Jesus we begin to revert we begin to speak blessings upon our nation we speak to our nation today it shall be great again in the name of Jesus it shall flourish again in the name of Jesus we speak to our nation today we speak of our nation we speak against nepotism we stick we speak against kidnappings in the name of Jesus we speak against evil in the name of Jesus we speak against anything that comes to destroy anything that comes to tear apart anything that comes to crumble anything that comes to defeat the vision of God for our nation we speak against it and we speak to Nigeria you shall be great again in the name of Jesus by the word of the Lord you shall be great again the Lord will be our righteousness we shall be strong again we shall take our place in the committee of nations again our words will matter once again our 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 people will be valued all all over the world again in the name of Jesus we are rising in prominence we are a great nation we are great people we, we are we are the generation that is not taking no for an answer we are moving and we will become great again in the name of Jesus our children will find a home in this country our children will build visions in this country the country will rise again it shall not come crumble it shall not fall apart in the name of Jesus the Lord himself will step once again into our case in the name of Jesus he will deliver he will deliver he will forgive he will have mercy again he will show mercy he will show mercy again upon our land in the name of Jesus we speak goodness upon you Nigeria we speak favor upon you Nigeria we speak growth upon you Nigeria you will flourish again the lands will be green again the lands will, the bloodshed will cease in, in the name of Jesus mentally pratosia and the voice Voices that are speaking against this nation will be silenced in the name of Jesus. God will contend with those who contend with this nation in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. Thank you because Nigeria is rising again. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you because you're giving us a song again. Thank you because you are bringing all the fragments of our nation together once again. Thank you because you're uniting us. You're raising a force in Nigeria that the world will reckon with in the name of Jesus. You are making us, you are making us prominent again in the name of Jesus. We receive the future, Lord, with gratitude. We walk into the future with definiteness, Lord, with purpose and with vision to the glory of your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because you have done. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to your holy name. We give you praise, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Honor to him. We worship him. Happy Independence Anniversary, Nigeria. We will be great again. We will be great again. Congratulations, Nigeria. We are rising again. We are rising again. From the rumbles, or from the rubbles of the past, we are rising again to become a great nation. The Lord himself has stepped into our case. Congratulations. Congratulations as we turn 60 uh, tomorrow. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying. God bless you. Thank you for um, staying on. And before we go this evening, I would just like us to read a passage in the book of John chapter 6 verse 12. John chapter 6 verse 12. And the Bible says, So when they were filled, he said to his disciples, Gather them, gather up the fragments that remain, so that nothing is lost. Jesus had fed 5,000 people and when they were done, it was like gather all the fragments. Bring the fragments back together um, so that nothing is lost. In other translations, it says so that nothing is wasted. 
and today uh, you might be watching and saying things are hard, the economy is hard, and you just have fragments left, like little just scattered all over. You don't even have enough to even um, take care of you and your family. And you might be saying, hey, this is not the time to give to God. This is not the time to give to the uh, work of God. But uh, Christ is saying today, he's saying, gather the fragments together. Gather them together. Because even the fragments can be wasted if they are not brought under the authority, the guidance and the control of Jesus. So he said, gather them together. Bring them back so that nothing be wasted. And today I want to challenge you. You. Gather the fragments, whatever, gather them and bring it to God. And I assure you, you will have a testimony. God is going to bless you. It's offering time. And wherever you are, you, you just prepare your offering. I will pray for your offerings right now. There will be um, the account numbers will be scrolling on the screen, and even in the chat room, we'll have the account numbers pasted. Do it in faith. Gather the fragment, bring them to Jesus, and He will multiply. He's the God of multiplication. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, because you will multiply the seeds that are being sown right now all over the country, um, outside of the country. You will multiply them. You will put your blessing on them. Multiply, Lord, those that are bringing their fragments, Lord, is so that it will not be wasted. I pray for your multiplication upon them in the name of Jesus. Multiply them, Lord. Multiply them in the name of Jesus. Glory to your holy name. Father, we worship you. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you for giving. Thank you for giving. Thank you. Thank you. And the Lord bless you. Thanks for praying with us this evening. Right after now, we'll have a, a, a song come up and we'll just sing together. Uh, it's Timida Kolo, Great Nation. We're prophesying over our nation and it will be great again. Have a pleasant evening.
Someday we would sing like the song oh. 